everyone, I'm Rochelle with Originally Worn, and in this video, we're gonna paint the base of my kitchen island table. But first, be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also, you can find us all over social media under Originally Worn and online at originallywornonline.com. For a bit of added fun in today's project, we're gonna try to paint the whole thing with a 120 milliliter container of Annie Sloan chalk paint. I'm gonna be using the color Chateau Gray. Um, it kind of matches my shirt, you can see. Uh, it's one of my favorite colors. It's all throughout our house, on our vanities, front doors, all sorts of cool things. It's one of the best. But I never open a new container of paint and use it on a single project. So we're gonna open this little guy and see how far he goes today. So here is our kitchen island. Um, it's really just a large counter height type table with four stools and we're going to leave the top like this and we're going to paint the skirting. Here is what the skirting of the table looks like that we're going to paint. It's a dark wood, really pretty table from Ashley Furniture, but just not my style. The first step I did was to wipe the whole thing down with a mixture of vinegar, Dawn dish soap and a bit of hot water and then rinse it clean. So we have a clean dry surface to start with. And then I went around and I've taped the underneath part of here with frog tape. And then I've put little pieces of cardboard under the feet so to protect my floor. So I didn't have to move this actually into my paint studio. So to start the actual painting part, I'm gonna be using a flat Annie Sloan synthetic bristle brush, um, mostly because it will get into this area nicely and because it'll fit in this container. Um, I've shook this up really, really well. We're gonna pop it open and get started. This is one of my favorite colors. See, it's a nice light sagey green. I'm just gonna get a little bit on my brush there and start painting. There you have it. We're gonna go around and do the whole table here with one coat. And there we have one coat of Annie Sloan chalk paint on everything. We've used about, oh, a little less than half of this little 120 milliliters so far. So that's really awesome. We'll totally have enough. Um, another thing I forgot to mention, if you're new around here, you do not need to sand before you paint with Annie Sloan chalk paint. It's a magical miracle paint and I've had it all over my house. I've done it for lots of customers and it holds up just fine without sanding first. Now that the first coat is dry, we can go ahead and put the second coat on. Same way as you do the first coat. I finished painting the second coat and it took every last drop of that, that paint, but we did get it done. So that's wonderful. Um, now that it's dry, 
we're gonna call do what's called wet distressing. This is a wet, old, gross rag. Um, I guess it's not gross, it's just old. And we're gonna take it and rub along the parts that I want to distress. And they'll simply kind of just be wiping off the paint. Um, this works best with fresh, dry paint. So your paint does need to be dry, even though it's called wet distressing, but then you don't want your paint to be like been on there for a month because it's really hard then to get off and you'll have to work a lot harder. At this point, you can literally just take it and rub your rag along the parts that you want to be kind of distressed. You see that? I don't want a ton of distressing, so you see that corner right there? So let's do that everywhere. Here it is after I wet distressed it. The color will actually dry and turn back to normal. Um, you can see that I didn't go into the big flat area as much. I just hit the high parts of the edges. I didn't do like down on the legs here much because I didn't want them done, but I did a little bit on the outer part of the foot. The last step we're gonna do today is to take our Annie Sloan clear wax and an Annie Sloan wax brush and put this all over every painted surface. This is its top coat and it's protected. And you simply just kind of put it on there with the brush. See, we can move it around. And you can see it changes the color ever so slightly. It almost makes it a little bit richer. And then take a lint-free towel and you can do this on the whole leg or anything like that. Um, usually a three foot by three foot section. And then simply just wipe the excess off. Doesn't that color look beautiful? Now to do all of it. Easy peasy, just like that. And didn't she turn out pretty? Thanks for watching. I hope this inspired you. Be sure to follow us online under originallywornonline.com and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Happy painting.